From Tropicana Field, we continue on with Perfect Game Weekly presented by Rawlings. And we're about to learn, this man, Michael Gupton, really set this event on fire, folks. He ran a 596, 60-yard dash. Will you teach us? We need to learn not only sprinting, but base dealing. Will you work with us? All right, yes, sir. Definitely. All right, I'm getting out of the way. Okay. Here's my first question, okay? All right. So if you're about to run the 60, and you go through showing your jersey, go right. from there and just kind of explain to us mechanically what happens for you at the start of the 60. Okay, so with sprinting, there's actually a lot of mechanics um, and a lot of stuff goes into the 60 that people may not see. We're gonna go, we're gonna break this down into three um, phases. So the first phase is the dry phase. So the dry phase is basically your first 15 to 30 meters. And these first 15 to 30 meters, you want to be head down, explosive, with big arms. For me, in my speed, my drive phase, I'm pushing at 30 meters or 30 yards, which is half, basically half of the 60. So in this first 30 yards, I want to start out, boom, I want to keep my head down and my arms pumping for the first 30 yards. The first couple steps, your arms are very, very important. Basically, what I, what I do is I like to call it a split rip. So a split rip is when you start, I say, ready, go. You wanna act like you have a watch on your lead hand and it's coming over your head. Watch over your head, and this is the split, and then ripping your other arm through into the rip. So keeping these elbows high and these first two arms very, very big. Because what this allows you to do is this allows you to get more stride length. And these first couple of steps are very vital to get us, cover as much ground as possible so you can slingshot into your top speed. And then from here, I want to shorten my arms. And what I, what I, what I like to think of is my fingertips cutting my, my leg in half, basically. So now my arms are coming into the 90 degree angle. So each stride, I should look like this, but I'm still head down in my dry face. Now let's talk about the transition. So you come out your dry face, boom and you're starting to come up. So you want to start to bring your chin up slowly. You're starting to bring your chin up and now your knees naturally start to come up and your toes become dorsiflexed. So basically, if somebody were to take a picture of you in your transition, you should look like this, nice and tall. So if we walk it all back through, we're starting, ready, go. Boom, split, big arms, rip, the arms, 30 meters, 30 yards, running, 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 running. Transition, okay, starting to slowly bring my chin up. Heel to knee, 90 degree angle. And then top end, nice and tall, nice and tall, through the finish line. You're a track star. I am. Yes. <laughs> how much were you prepared in part because you are an elite runner? And how much are you a better baseball player? You gotta hit it. Right. But how much are right, you right. a better baseball player because of the confidence you have with those? Um, it's honestly, it's a big relief. I just know if I can get on base, then it's lights out. I also need to, before I wrap this, understand flexibility. Because you're yes. strong, I can see it, you're very strong. But you know as well as I do that I think flexibility, you're gonna tell me is a huge part of setting right. a number like a 596, Definitely. expound. Definitely. There's not a lot of ways you can get faster. You can get quicker, but there's not a lot of ways to get faster, but one of them is flexibility. The more flexible and the more you stretch, the faster you will be. And also, injury prevention. Nobody wants to get hurt. Yeah, outstanding. Yeah. I'll step out, you take us to break. Uh, this is Perfect Game Weekly, by the way. This guy is amazing, but please take us to break. More Perfect Game Weekly here at the National Showcase at Tropicana Field.